Brothers and sisters, Brother John, watchmen for that great day. I just pulled up this article in War News 24-7, and <laughs> unbelievable. It's now four, uh, 6.40 a.m. in the morning, um, and I'm just going to read it let it roll here. So Armageddon, they blow up the largest dam in Ukraine by burying Kherson. This is their plan. This is what is planned, brothers and sisters. Russian TV says nuclear bomb will be detonated in Nikolov. Vladimir Zelensky's speech, they are preparing a humanitarian disaster. See the, the um, what do you call, the plan is at this point, looks like this is where World War III is going to start with this dam. So I'm going to continue to read. I'll roll it up. Alarm has been sounded in military staffs of Russia, Britain, the U.S., and Ukraine as the largest dam in the country with 18 million cubic meters is expected to blow up, burying Kherson in 80 more settlements underwater. This information from yesterday, which was revealed in Greece only by war 24-7, mobilized all the forces involved. Uh, Vladimir Zelensky has just made a speech on the subject, Ukraine blames Russia and vice versa. See, this is now the game that they're playing. They're playing a, uh, a propaganda uh, game, all right? So that's what this is to them. All right, to them, to the leaders of the heads of these nations. Uh, I would say it's less a game to Russia than it is to the, uh, the West, all right? So the bad news does not stop here. Russia television, Russian television, talked about the detonation of a nuclear bomb by the Ukrainians in Nikolov. The same is reported by the Russian media who gave it to the Ukrainian forces uh, is not mentioned. Who gave it to the Ukrainian, Ukrainian forces is not mentioned. Uh, I have uh, knowledge of what happened back in the days of the Soviet Union. There, Ukraine had many, as much as 1,800 nuclear weapons, uh, warheads, whatever. But once the Soviet Union dissolved, they gave back, or supposedly gave back, uh, the due to the treaties, uh, the, the, the nuclear weapons. But apparently they didn't get rid of all of them, okay, because they do have nukes. And this is, this is knowledge, all right? This is what we find by searching and looking in, in all these different uh, uh, publications and places. And the, the object of it is, do they have a nuke that they can use? I'm sure of it, all right? If not, NATO supplied one. If not, U.S. supplied one. The, the bottom line is war is always about propaganda and putting the blame on whoever else it was that they are innocent. All right. The innocent ones that try to make them look uh, guilty. All right. Both Russian and the U.S. Ukraine are now playing Russian roulette. That's for sure. And you know what? Russia ain't playing that game. All right. They, I don't believe that they make Russia out to be this, this really bad, evil uh, society, and the people are never bad, all right? The governments can be totally corrupt and, and whacked and everything else, but let's just look at the, the truth, all right? Remember, the truth is in Christ. That's where we get our truth from. So, according to the Americans, we're reading a publication, a man-written publication, but a very well written and uh, I would say given us pretty good insight into what is happening, all right, other than the Hal Turner site as well. According to the Americans, Russia will blow up the dam to save Russian forces in Kherson. Now, does that make any sense to you? Russia uh, just allowed Kherson, uh, due to this referendum, which the uh, UN has called uh, illegal, all right, and but due to the referendum, they have just uh, brought this state back into the 
uh, Russian sphere, all right, Kherson and uh, Donbass and uh, Zephori, Zephoria, which is where that nuclear plant is, and uh, one other one I can't think of at the moment. But anyway, then he will blame Kiev, uh, Kiev, and detonate a nuclear bomb in Nikolov. Now, <laughs> this is what the Americans are saying. All right, this is coming from uh, the <laughs> American agenda. All right. The Russians claim the exact opposite. Well, that will be true as well. And and do they want to blow up something that is going to cost billions of dollars to fix to bring power back into the area that they just allowed to be protected by their by Russia? I mean, come on, let's use our heads here. The Russians claim the exact opposite. See what the studies show in the in the case uh, in case this dam is hit. All right. So then they show you V. Putin and they they tell you they give you this to also to read. But I'll put this uh, this link in the about box below this video. The next thing is this is Zelensky's speech. The dam will be blown up. All right. So he's already saying the dam's going to be blown up. Russia kind of looks at it like they're going to try to blow up the dam. All right. I don't think Russia is going to be the one that blows up their own dam. It's theirs now. And they've already taken responsibility for Kherson and Zephoria and these other two, Donbass and, and Luhansk. Okay? This is, it's silly. All right? The whole thing of war, it's just a bunch of confusion. And then they're going to do something and they're going to bring order out of chaos. This is the Hegelian dialectic at its best. They're going to cause a problem. They're going to offer a solution. All right. This is where the Antichrist comes in with all the answers. And they're talking about the the rabbis have already been talking to the uh, to the Messiah who is about to arise. So we have information. This is going continuing. This is uh, Zelensky saying this. We have information that Russian terrorists have mined the HPP uh, Kahova and the units of the HPP uh, Karsheva, whatever. The Russians planted bombs. This is this is Zelensky saying this. This is the the um, that regime. All right. The Russians planted bombs in the dump of this place, hydroelectric plant, uh, uh, up River. The dam of the of this hydroelectric power plant contains about 18 million cubic meters of water. This is one of the largest energy installations. Uh, if Russia terrorists blow it up, uh, up to 80 settlements will be flooded, including Kherson. All right. <laughs> Does it make any sense for them to do this? Is the question. They have just. By this legal referendum, they have the head of the state that is that shook hands with Putin, making the whole thing legal, and it's it's all part of their uh, you know acceptance of this country, of this state. So now everyone, this is remember Zelensky saying this is a picture below, and I'm not going to play the video, but now everyone in in the world must act forcefully and quickly to prevent see how he's see how this is all trying to bring in the nations of the world right the world war now everyone in the world the world war must act forcefully what we're going to get ready to do is have a world war here we might got to act forcefully and quickly to prevent another russian terrorist attack undermining the dam would mean a large scale disaster who will it benefit to do this. Think of this. It, is it going to benefit Russia to blow up their, this dam that is now part of a country or state that they have just allowed to be protected by Russia? Why would Russia blow up this dam? Why would Russia blow up their own pipeline? Think of that. Remember just not two weeks ago. Nord Stream. All right. There's forces outside of what we're seeing and the, 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 not saying Russia's an angel either. I'm just saying that both sides are being played against the middle 
And we're seeing the Hegelian dialectic at its finest because they're bringing about a third world war. This is part of what the Albert Pike letter is all about. Okay, it's not exactly the way the Albert Pike letter was written is important, but outside and between the lines of what the Albert Pike letter wrote about the uh, fomenting of the third world war, right, would be between the differences made between the uh, Zionist uh, Jews and the uh, uh, Islam, the Arabs, all right? So that's well on its way as well, okay? So at the same time, Russia, this is still Zelensky talking, at the same time, Russia uh, prevented Ukrainian employees uh, from working at the Karhalva Dam and paved the way for a huge disaster. And so this is what he is saying. I suppose he's going to say the same thing about those uh, Russians that have taken to uh, to working in the Zephora power plant. All right, the the whole thing is insanity. Doesn't matter. It's all insanity. This is not a time where you want to be without Christ. That's for sure. All right, if you don't know Christ by now and you're watching this video, you really need to ask the Lord Jesus to forgive you of your sin and turn from it and ask him to come in. All right? Now it's not just that simple, all right? It's not just a simple prayer, but in the beginning it is simple. All right? It is a simply it is a simply turning from your sin, turn to Christ Jesus, ask him into your heart. He forgives you. He loves you. You know, the bottom line is he loves you. And what does it say in John John the the, the John 3:16 and 17 it says for God so loved did he hate the world? No, he so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And <laughs> that whosoever believeth. So what do we need to do? We need to believe. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Who are you going to believe in? You're going to believe in Zelensky, or Putin, or Biden, or Trump, or you name it. Uh, you know, any, any, you're going to believe in any particular leader in this world? <laughs> you're going to be wrong. Okay, you're going to end up dying and go to hell. Who are you going to believe in that's going to save your law, your soul? Who is the one that will save your soul? Christ Jesus. The only one that ever rose from the dead. He died. He came. <laughs> he came in the flesh. was born as a child. Grew up to the age of 30. And was put on a cross. The whole time being sinless. Not ever having sinned being perfect, born of a virgin, not born of a, of a relation with a man, uh, you know, having that, that uh, relation. Born perfect, born of the seed of God, God's only begotten son. Okay? Was born, went to the cross at the age of 30, and died. But, three days later, rose from the dead. <laughs> when he did that, there was a great earthquake. The rocks were rent. The temple had a, a, uh, a curtain that was torn. That was the only place that man could, could visit with God. Man was once a year on the Day of Atonement. Man, or a rabbi, a, a man, could go into that place where the holiness of God dwelled. All right, in the ark of the cup was right there, the seat, the mercy seat, and he would go in and sprinkle blood, and they would actually have to tie a rope on his foot in case he did something wrong. They'd have to drag him out because God would strike him dead if he did something wrong. This is when th there was a curtain around this, this holy of holies, and the curtain was as thick as a man's hand, and it was 60, uh, 60 feet high. And the day that Christ died, it was torn in half. That, that veil that separated God, or the holiness of God, from man, 
where a man could just see him once a year, that was ripped from the top to the bottom. That's where we are today. We are not in back or having to stand outside the holiness of God. Jesus made the way that we can be in front of the holiness of God all the time. We can be seen by God. We can walk with God. We can talk with God. We can ask Him for things. We can pray about our needs. And we can walk in His, in his path. And He loves us so much. And He forgives us. For God sent not His Son into this world. The whole thing about Jesus. Jesus did not come into this world to condemn the world. But that the world... That's right. World War Three, all the nations, the world, all the people in the world. That includes Putin, that includes Ping, you know, it includes uh, Trump, it includes all the people of the world, the leaders of the world, anybody that all might be saved through him, believing on him, and of course, obeying the way he directed okay but the simplest thing is he died on the cross he was buried rose on the third day from the dead this is this is the the god that came to us in the flesh there is no greater god than our god jesus christ the son of god our lord our savior god bless you all <laughs> This I will leave in the about box, this, this link, all right? And I just want you all to know that I, I'm hanging on just like all of you. I'm just dealing with a day-to-day -day thing, one day at a time. Uh, one of the things about this article, I'll let you read it because it is, it's so important. Um, to understand and, and I don't want to give it away it's like it, if we go to the uh, if you go down I'm trying to find it so I can give you the, the key so when you get this when you when you watch this video uh, let's see all right here we go just what you do is when you when you get the you go to the link, you go down past the video of Zelensky and what he's saying, and then you'll see a little blue thing. You'll see like a little bit of blue writing that says Russian TV, a nuclear bomb will be detonated, and, and that's, that's the other side of the story. But at the bottom, if you go down to the next video, just go down, you'll see another video, scroll down. And when you get to that, back up just to the first sentence, that's the last sentence before you get to that video. So go down to the video, past Zelensky, down to the next video, back up just the first sentence there, and I think you'll all be very surprised to see uh, what could happen. And the way things are going, it's more than likely that it will happen. So I'll leave that as the, the key to this video. I'll let you watch and read and think. But God bless you all, brothers and sisters. Brother John Watchman, for that great day, and it's coming soon. You know, I'm probably not going to need glasses to see too much more because I'm going to have brand new eyes. I'm going to have a brand new body, and I'm going to be in a brand new place. And I think we'll all be together rejoicing, <laughs> bowing, crying, praising God. We'll all be doing some amazing things when we get to see our Lord Jesus and we'll be with him in the place where he has prepared. So I love you all. Keep looking up. The day is near. Take your butts out if you got them in. <laughs>
sobering time, brothers and sisters, very sobering. Keep looking up. Brother John, watchman for that great day. Out.